and the property trustees. Just take for granted. Three times as long as they should have done. That's one point he's made. We've just come into this now. Thank there's, you. Uh, there's chance of murderers. Uh, well, and this the side speaker. Uh, Our next speaker is Thomasina, and Thomasina is part of the Lancaster West Estate, yes. which is the low-rise buildings below Grenfell, and she's going to talk about a really key and significant demand that we all making for the survivors to be housed in the borough and to be housed instantly. And of course, a lot of these promises have broken, haven't they? Because which will hopefully be passed today, where she's suggesting that the £250,000, £250,000,000 reserve of the council will be used to buy housing in the local area from the private market, buy it and give it as social housing, as permanent housing to these survivors. They need that. And I just can't imagine that they're going to refuse it, but we need to make some noise and make sure that they pass this through, because these people cannot start healing until they have a base to heal from. So, justice for Grenfell, that's all I can yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, we seem to have a rather aggressive and noisy group over there. If people want to come over this way and just listen to this solidarity messages, we'd really appreciate it. And people, come over this way, please. Justice for Grenfell. Kensington and Chelsea Council, out, out, out. Kensington and Chelsea Council, out, out, out. Kensington and Chelsea Council, Our next speaker is Zita Holbrook from PCS. <laughs> 